Hi, Shimmy Shaker. Welcome to day 22 of our 30 day dance challenge. I teach you a new combination every single day for 30 days building towards the end of the year and also a beautiful choreography too. I really like this combination. If you haven't seen videos from the past 21, 22 days, um, then please check them out because if you want to learn the whole choreography, it's really fun to know all of them. But if you just want to learn this choreography for itself, then of course that is fine too. You can use it in your improvisation or your own choreography as well. Today, we are starting off with a Sohia Zaki step, also known as a hip shift. So starting with your feet, hip width apart, pelvis tucked in, chest up, hands on the boardroom table or out of the way. We're dropping one hip and then the other. So with this step, it's a little bit different to our hip drop because we're not using our knees, we're really holding through our core and we are using our heels instead to get that hip up and down. The accent is on the down. And as well as that, if you like, you can lift the whole foot. So I know when I first started learning this move, instead of just working through the heels, for me, I found it easier to lift the whole foot. Now I think I find it easier up on my toes, but see which feels better for you because it doesn't really matter in this choreography which one you do, um, as long as it feels good for you. So from here, we're facing this corner, going down, down, and then little feet shimmy, coming to the other side. So all that we're doing with our feet shimmy is lifting one foot off, then the other, but going really fast, letting everything here shake. So it's front hip, back hip, over to the other side, front hip, back hip, then coming to the front, then we've got eight and two hip circles. With the eight, if you feel up to it, we're coming down. Oh, knees crack. Hopefully no one will hear that over the music. Okay, from here, hip circle and up. So if you haven't done this coming down before, it's a little bit different to the one that we did in our first part of the choreography because our feet are in line with each other, but same as the last time we came down like this, you wanna keep your spine nice and long, working through your quad muscles, keeping your heels off the floor. So heels off the floor, that's the key tip to remember with this move because if you're trying to bring your heels down, your, your posture's not gonna be right. So nice and up. Some people find this move actually is easier in high heels. So if you are the type of person who likes to wear high heels when you're dancing, try it with those shoes on. It'll give you a little bit extra support. Okay, let's try it all together. Five, six, seven, eight. Drop, drop, feet shimmy. Drop, drop, feet shimmy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle and circle. Yeah, nice work. Let's go one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. Drop, drop, feet shimmy. Drop, drop, feet shimmy. Drop, 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 drop. Circle, circle, and you can come up as well. <laughs> Remember when you're doing the down, try not to get all of it and then, well, let me say that a different way. Try and make it smooth your descent. So try and each time you do the hip down, you're going a little bit lower rather than, for example. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that combination. It's quite a dynamic one. It really uses strength through your core and through your feet as well. Make sure you join me for tomorrow where we learn a new combination. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you then. Bye.